Hey everybody, it's Shannon Marin here with the Marin Marketing Team, EXP Realty, and Shannon Marin Personal Real Estate Corporation. You're invited to watch Vancouver Island Vision and our segment of Vancouver Island People. Today we are featuring Howard Kenneth Lobb, a famous carver, chainsaw carver, an artist, and a dear friend. The hardest thing is to figure out that process, but painting, carving is a process, it's a very definite process, and, you, and uh, painting is similar in the sense that uh, once you figure out the process, then it's just a matter of drawing with color. You've come a long way in these digs. You've come a long way too there, girl. <laughs> But look at all this stuff now. I mean, you've got eagles and owls and all kinds of stuff. And then you got into the chainsaw carving. Tell us about that. I was aware that there, this was a huge competition here before I moved to the island. Yeah, Campbell River's yeah. big on the chainsaw yeah. carving. So I, um, I was quite stoked about seeing how that all worked. Okay. And. Um, there was a little bit of a glitch right off the hop there that I didn't have a chainsaw. So eventually I ended up with a, <laughs> with a chainsaw. Kind of a necessity. <laughs> yeah, but it was an arborist uh, chainsaw, not a commercial arborist chainsaw. This is a hobbyist kind. Okay. And most chainsaws are like this one in the shape. Well, right. this one, instead of having a handle down here, this is... The handle is right here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, and after four days of doing this, it took a day or two before I could. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, it got me hooked. And and um, one of the guys, Kenny Sheen, at that time was carving right across the little walkway from me. Mm -hmm. And he had at least a half a dozen saws there going that he was using, and that was my soul saw didn't wow. have didn't have the proper bar didn't have anything like that it was just a chainsaw it's it, tough work yeah. i've watched you guys go down there <laughs> yeah, yeah so that was my humble tough. beginning you know? yeah yeah kenny helped me because he get, he loaned me a saw right at the very end to finish the carving and uh um and that was it once i used a professional carving saw that's it, I was hooked. I you, just thought, oh, this is too good. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise my, my carvings were small, relatively small. Right, but with the right tools, you could do bigger oh, yeah. and better. Now, now big, is, big is the way to go. And, yeah. and so that opened up a different world and um, um, it advanced all of those smaller carvings into gigantic sizes and um, you know, now I, it's something that I don't do anymore. You yeah, know. yeah. Well, because I, you were saying that you get some of that white knuckle syndrome going on. Yeah, I get this. Mm -hmm. I get going with after a while, and my hands start shaking like this. Well, that doesn't work very good for a painter either. But, so. but that's now where you're at. You're into yeah. the painting now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so I'm happy with that. I can. The hand tools, like when I'm doing something like this, there's a lot of hand tool work. There, there's very little chainsaw time, so I can roughly block it out. Yeah. And then the hand tools take over, and the hand tools don't bother me. Yeah. That's an amazing piece. But the chainsaw, that it's the vibration of it and the and the sanders. Um, so with this, I don't sand. And there's, right. there's no sanding involved in that. That's um, it's beautiful. Pretty much all hand tools after the chainsaw part. Oh, there's a little. There's what I call the finger sander. Right. Um, but the vibration from that doesn't bother me. Yeah. It's okay. it's the palm sanders and the right. angle grinders and anything okay. that vibrates a lot. This doesn't either. This is really good. Okay. Very. It's electric or battery powered so mm -hmm. the vibration on that is really low mm -hmm. new baby new baby <laughs> so you were saying because of some of the issues that you were having and you yeah. you are you know 
born artistic. And your yeah. wife bought you an easel and some paints. Yeah, and she, then yeah. uh, you evolved with that. Yeah, that was funny because she asked me. We were going through a store in the, and um, she, we went by the book section, and by the book section was this easel and all set up and stuff like that. And she says, what do you think of that? And I says, oh, that's pretty cool. It was a French easel, um, traditional design and style, uh, small. They, mm -hmm. they come in various sizes, but this one was relatively small. But it came with oils, acrylics, and watercolor all in the tube. A couple of brushes, a little canvas, palette. I still use the palette. Actually, I still use the, the whole thing, actually. Um, it's small, but when I'm going out into the, you know, into the bush and stuff like that, or down to the beach or wherever I'm yeah. going to paint, it's easy to pack along. It takes a couple of seconds to set up, and there That's I go. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and not an end of things you can paint around here. No, this is this is actually that's turned into that's helped me find an excuse to get out and do my favorite thing, which is get in my my jeep and crawl around some back ro roads at four miles an hour and into places I should never go and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and gets great. me out there. And I, yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's By, perfect. It's perfect. You're creating wonderful things out there. Yeah, 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 yeah I get to so. see God's beauty just like it amazes me. It always has and uh, you know, most of my life I was, I couldn't see well. I had uh, really bad eyes and mm -hmm. um, very, very nearsighted. And eventually cataracts came and then it was, they were going to take my driver's license away. So when I got the eyes fixed, they put lenses in. And for the first time in my life, I could see 20-20, no distortion. Like glasses always gave me a distortion. Yeah. Which makes it impossible to paint because you've well, got these, especially when you got Coke bottle lenses. You know, but so. now you paint in such detail. Like yeah. such detail, you no. said that some people think your artwork is photography. Yeah. And, yeah. and I've, yeah, I've had that argument with people before about the, <laughs> it's a painting, no, it's a photograph. Don't BS me, Howard. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Howard, for having us over, showing us all your great creations. We really, really appreciate it. If you appreciate this video, please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook to see more interviews with Vancouver Island people.